Imagine a weapon that can see in the dark, through storms, and end a fight before the enemy even knows it has started. This is real. It is hidden in the nose of a fighter jet. This is the story of a tool built from need, a tool that changed the sky forever. We are talking about Israel's ELM-2032 fire control radar. Most people see a fighter jet and think of its speed, its missiles, its shape. But the real power is not what you see, it is what you do not see. The real power is the brain of the jet, and that brain is the radar. Think of it this way. A jet without a good radar is like a strong man who is blind. He has power, but he does not know where to aim it. He's in danger. Now, give that man the ability to see everything in all directions, even in total blackness. That is what a radar like the ELM-2032 does. It gives a pilot sight far beyond human eyes. This is how a small country facing real dangers built a master tool. A tool that does not just see far, it sees with purpose. And it has turned older jets into some of the most capable planes flying today. So, how did this begin? The story starts with a company named Elta Systems in Israel. To know why this radar is so good, you must know why Israel needed it. For many years, Israel was surrounded by nations with bigger armies and more jets. Israel could not fight with numbers, it would always have fewer. So it had to fight with brains. It had to be smarter. The old radars of that time had many problems. They were like a weak light in a thick fog. They did not see very far. They got confused by clutter, which is things like rain, mountains, or even the ground. If two enemy jets flew close, the old radar might see them as one thing. And they were big, heavy, and used too much power. Israel needed a new answer. They needed a radar that was small enough to fit in different jets, smart enough to know a real threat from a false signal, and strong enough to work in the harsh desert. They needed a system that could give their pilots a winning edge. The answer was the ELM-2032. It was not just a simple upgrade, it was a leap forward in a small box. The builders focused on three main things. Better signal processing which is like giving the radar a faster brain to know what it sees, smarter detection rules, which are the instructions it uses to find a target, and a modular design. That word modular is very important. It means the radar was built like building blocks. This made it very flexible. Instead of making a whole new radar for a new jet, they could just change the blocks inside. This made it cheaper and easier to put into many different types of aircraft. This changed the game. From the start, the ELM-2032 was made not just to be the best, but to be useful. It was built for survival, and that thinking is why it became a success around the world. So what makes this radar so special? Let us look at its main skills. Its first and most important skill is multi-mode capability. This is a technical term for a simple idea. This one radar can do many different jobs and do them all well. Imagine you have a very good camera. In one mode, it is perfect for taking pictures of a fast-running athlete. With a simple change, it becomes a camera for taking pictures of a wide, beautiful landscape. Change it again, and it's perfect for a person's face. That is what multi-mode means for the ELM-2032. It is one tool that is a master of many tasks. Let us look at its different jobs. First, there is air-to-air -air mode. This is for fights in the sky, when the enemy is another plane. Older radars could maybe follow one or two targets. The ELM-2032 can follow many at the same time. We are talking about up to eight different enemy aircraft all at once. And it's not just seeing them, it's locking onto them. Think of a lock like pointing your finger directly at one person in the crowd. The pilot sees a list of all the tracked targets on their screen. They can then choose which one is the biggest threat and decide to fight it. All of this happens in seconds. 
the pilot can be tracking one jet high up, another flying very low to the ground, and a third off to the side, and the radar does not get mixed up. It keeps a perfect lock on all of them. But what happens when the fight is not in the air, but on the ground? This is where the second mode comes in, air to ground. The radar stops looking for other planes and starts looking down at the Earth. And it doesn't just see a blur, it uses something called Synthetic Aperture Radar, or SAR. SAR is amazing. It lets the jet make a detailed, clear map of the ground below, and it can do this in the middle of the night, through heavy clouds, or in a dust storm. The pilot can see single buildings, groups of cars, even specific structures. It can tell the difference between a tank and a truck. This is very important for modern war. It means a pilot can fly high above the bad weather, completely hidden from the ground, and still have a perfect picture of their target. They can be sure of what they're hitting, which helps avoid terrible mistakes and hurting innocent people. It brings a level of accuracy that was once just a dream. Now, here is a mode many people don't think about. Maritime. Most fighter radars are not good over the sea. The waves make a lot of noise, like static on an old radio. The ELM-2032 has a special mode that filters all that noise out. It can look over huge areas of water and find ships, from large warships to small fast boats, at very long distances. This turns a normal Air Force jet into a strong Navy patrol plane. It can hunt for enemy ships without needing a Navy boat to guide it. This flexibility is a huge advantage for smaller countries with coasts to protect. So, this one system can control the sky, the land, and the sea. But to do all that, it needs one more very important thing. Range. You can have the smartest radar in the world, but if it can only see a short distance, it's not useful. So how far can the ELM-2032 see? The exact numbers are of course a military secret, but from public reports, we know it can find a normal fighter jet-sized target at distances well over 150 kilometers. That's like standing in one town and seeing something in another town far away. Why does this range matter so much? It's all about time. In air combat, especially with modern missiles, the pilot who sees the enemy first wins. It's that simple. This long range gives the pilot a big advantage. It gives them precious extra minutes to understand the situation, to plan their move, and to make a choice. This is called Beyond Visual Range Combat, or BVR. In BVR, you're shooting a missile at an enemy you can't see with your own eyes. You're trusting your radar to guide that missile. The longer your radar range, the sooner you can shoot. You make the enemy react to you. You control the fight from the very start. The ELM-2032 gets this amazing range not with a big, heavy part, but with brilliant building. Its advanced parts are so good that they can find the faint signal of a faraway jet from all the background noise of the world. It's like being able to hear one person whispering in a loud, crowded room. But seeing a target is only the first step. The real test is keeping that lock. What happens when the enemy knows you have seen them? They will try to get away. They will twist, turn, dive, and do everything they can to break your radar's lock. This is where the ELM-2032 shows its true strength. Its tracking system is very stubborn. It uses complex rules, smart computer code, to guess where the target will go next. Even if the enemy jet makes a sharp, hard turn, the ELM-2032's brain figures out the new path and stays locked on. It can do this for up to eight targets at the same time. And here's the best part. While it's tracking these eight targets, it's still looking across the whole sky for new surprise threats. This skill is called Track While Scan. It means the pilot screen is always showing the full picture. They are never surprised. They can be in the middle of fighting one enemy and still get a warning that a new, unknown plane has just entered the area 50 miles away. This total knowledge is what keeps pilots safe. Of course, all this seeing and tracking is pointless if you can't act on it. A brain is useless without a way to strike. This leads us to the next great skill of the ELM-2032, 
Weapons Integration A radar can lock onto a target far away, but it needs to talk to the missile. It has to tell the missile exactly where that target is and then guide it all the way to a hit. The ELM-2032 is made to speak the language of a huge number of different weapons. It can guide long-range air-to-air missiles to shoot down other planes. It can guide smart bombs to a specific building on the ground. It can even guide missiles that are made to strike a ship in the ocean. Its open architecture is key here. This is a technical way of saying it's designed to work well with other systems. It can be put into an American F-16, a Korean F-A-50, or an Indian Tejas fighter, and it will connect perfectly to the weapons that jet carries. This is why it's so popular for making older jets new again. Think of a jet from the 1980s. It's a good plane, but its technology is old. By putting in the ELM-2032, you give that old jet a new, modern brain. Suddenly, it can, can use the newest missiles and bombs. It is like taking an old car and putting a brand new, modern computer inside it. The body is old, but what it can do is new. This brings us to the final, and maybe most important reason for its success, its effect around the world. Why have so many countries, from South Korea to India, and nations in South America and Asia, chosen this Israeli radar? The answer is a strong mix of performance, cost, and trust. For many countries, buying the newest American or European radar is too costly. It also sometimes comes with political rules. The ELM-2032 offers a top-level choice. It gives you excellent performance without the very high price or the political problems. It is also built to be tough. Israel tests its tools in real places, desert heat, wet ocean air, and places where enemies try to block signals. They know it has to work when it is needed most. This name for being reliable is priceless for an air force that might only have one chance to defend its country. For these nations, the ELM-2032 is not just a piece of technology. It is a smart choice for their future. It is a way to make their Air Force modern, to scare away possible enemies, and to keep their country safe without spending all their money. It is, very simply, the tool that makes things equal. So, what is next for this system? The ELM-2032 is not finished. It keeps getting better. Elta Systems always makes new software, improving its brain power, its strength against jamming, and how far it can see. While it is not the newest type of radar called AESA, its performance through constant improvement is so good that it can match newer systems. It shows a very important fact. You don't always need the newest, most costly technology to be the best. Sometimes, you just need the smartest, most trusted, and most useful design. The ELM-2032 is proof of that idea. It will likely be guarding skies around the world for many more years. It is the quiet, unseen guard in the nose of a jet. The ghost that sees all. The brain that decides the result of a battle before a single shot is even fired. If you enjoyed this real look into the hidden world of military tools, if you see how this one system changes the balance of power, then show your support. Like this video and subscribe to our channel for more true, honest talks about the ideas and machines that shape our world. The next time you see a fighter jet in the sky, remember, the real power is not in the sound it makes, but in the silence of its all-seeing eye. What other hidden tools are out there? quietly changing the world.